with winter here, I wanted to show you some things in, as to how I look at a, a swing. And they'll say, well, there's no angles in a golf swing um, because you're moving in 3D space. But you can still use two-dimensional software to discover interesting things. Okay, so here's Sam Snead, you know, one of the greatest ever. And I'll just run you through his swing. I have the line through his hands and then up to his head. And I'm using the shaft line in this case. And you can see his head stays there and he gets right back on that angle with his hands. Okay, gets right on it. And then you can see a very important move with this shoulder, his elbows. You can see how the elbows close. And then he straightens his right arm through the strike. One of the best swings in modern golf. Okay, so that's interesting. And go, well, it's not that unusual. If I look at other players, and here's a great, you can see the same sort of things. I draw that through his ear. They're a totally different angle, but it doesn't matter. And I put it through his hands. And you can see commonalities in a swing. His head stays right there. He's palm up, toe up. His elbow positions line up there in that interesting move, and that's going to be important because you'll see I can give us a drill to use during the winter to get to those same points. And it doesn't matter who it is. And I'll show Ben again. But you can see it over and over and over again. If we want to have good golf swings, you know, Ben dips his head a little more in this one. He did change over the years. But if you want to have a good golf swing, you'll see that that is what we should emulate. We should emulate a still head and this move right here. I always talk about it lining up your elbows and then you go through the strike. We push through. And it's not just the famous people. It's just rank amateurs too, as well. And most golfers who have a decent swing or can play fairly well will have this characteristic. I also use it to find things that I want to fine tune in my game. Okay. And, and I use it as a learning tool. So I put it right through my ear. It's a little better. And... There, I move my head a little out of the shot, which I don't want to do. And then, as usual, my shaft lines right up with it, and my hands come to the same place. So I have a little more movement than I want. So it's something that I'll be working on to get my head still. Here's TJ. You can see the same things. Line it up with the shaft, you line it up with 
the hands and you'll see that same move same alignments doesn't matter what club what angle um, as long as you have some angle I can look at a video of someone and say okay um, you know you should work on on these things and, and there's slight differences you can really use it between swings or what you've learned over time do the measurements and yeah, still back out a little bit I'm a little bit over the plane as they say but here I am palm up and watch my elbows my elbows will align and I push through the strike. And it's it's all players. It's 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 all good players. So as long as we learn to keep our head still, and I'm gonna show us exactly how we do that. We can all practice this over the winter and get better at what we're trying to do. And you'll end up with a really good basic golf swing. Something that will stand up. Something that you don't have to search for. All the time you'll have the basics down you can add little nuances and learn from other methods and instruction as well and I'm going to show you some drills on how to do this And to get this feel so that you can repeat from day to day and not be searching anymore.